back to my channel show here happy new year it's been a long time since i do another review back to this familiar background i will be doing an unboxing if you're new here welcome my name is cheryl isa i make videos about wellness skincare lifestyle education fashion related if you're interested in all those content be sure to subscribe to my channel also make sure you turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever there's a new video today we're unboxing this new appliance that I've been dreaming of even when my husband was asking me what I want for Christmas I was like eventually eventually you know I get there I get that but my mother-in-law just treated me this thing and I'm very grateful super happy beyond excited thank you Tony for gifting me this and you know I just want to unbox this babe right in front of camera without further ado let's just get started so this is the box it's huge I gotta turn to the other side because her address is on there. I got the Cuisinart Precision Master 5.5 Quarter Stand Mixer. Yay! Oh my god, so excited. God, this box is heavy. I can't believe I got this, like, legit. You know, like, the feeling when you got something you've been wanting? Almost, like, unbelievable. I remember when I first saw it, I was, like, tearing up. I literally had tears in my eyes. I was just like, oh my god. Okay, here's the recipe book. Very neat. I like it. Um, so very much just like, you gotta use me. You know, there's so many like different recipes for different things. Rustic Italian bread. Pecan sticky buns. A chocolate cherry crackles. Oh, hello. Here comes the real thing. I'm gonna take this out of there. Oh, you know what? Push it out one side. Put it this way. Okay. How about this? Pull this out. Yep. Okay. Out of there. Oh. oh my god. Somebody help. Oh god. Oh god. The actual stand mixer. I'm not sure if I'm doing the right. Okay, first thing we're gonna look at is a five and a half quart bowl. This is probably the flour mixing head. I love just the feel of it, you know? If you like have one of those mixing bowls that you get from, I don't know, like Target or somewhere, you know, it's definitely not one of those like thin mixing bowl. It has a little bit of a thickness for like heavy duty mixing. And the bottom looks like this, it sits right perfectly this flour flour mixing head or like a you know cake mixing who's talking here? not a professional baker this is gorgeous i wanted the shade coconut cream so look at this it's very retro damn this is really heavy too really heavy i feel like this is beyond just like a regular weight this is really heavy this is like an attic Take it off. So that's probably where you put some other attachment head. Boom. Beautiful. And in this part, you press it. You can, not all the way, like 45 degree back and then put it back. So it stays there. Gorgeous. It has 12 speeds in total. I don't know if you can see. God, this is really heavy. Oh my God. I gotta put it down for a bit. This is pretty heavy. So I love how retro it looks and just beautiful and just feeling very solid. And it's a beautiful appliance, you know, to be on the counter. Can someone comment on how heavy this is? So this one is 500 watt motor. It has this tilt back head that I already demonstrated. And then here we have some accessories that came with it. And the first one, this is a dough hook. So this is used to mix and knit the yeast dough for bread, rolls, pizza, focaccia, pasta dough, anything. First have this one, how oh, that connects to the thing, right? Yup. This is the splash guard and the pour spout. Put on top of the mixing bowl. And then when you pour the flour in there, you pour 
I think I watched like a review. The reviewer was talking about it's hard to pour powder or like flour type of dry ingredients. It's harder. Maybe liquid is much better. And then next we have this. This is a flak mixing paddle for mixing cookies, cakes, batters, and for frosting. All of the accessories, like it's something that you can feel the quality. This is chef's whisk. They call it chef's whisk. Oh, this is ideal for whipping eggs, egg whites, heavy cream. Okay, I was wrong. It's not for like flour. More like perfect for angel food cake, chiffon cake, some types of candy such as marshmallows. Oh my god, you can make marshmallows with this? Hello, new world. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. Like, I'm just like, I'm, I lost words, you know. My mother-in-law got me this. I'm so grateful for this. I love it. So heavy too. Ow. But yeah, that is it. It's not really like a review. I just want to unbox one of my favorite Christmas presents. Thank you. I'm really grateful that I have such a sweet, kind, generous, you know, loving, supportive mother-in-law in my life. I can't wait to use this, you know, cookies, you know, pasta. Maybe cake, you know, I'm not really a cake maker. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Also, if you want to know my thoughts after using this, leave me a comment below as well. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos every Monday. Thank you for watching. I'm Cheryl Yiso. See you in my next video.